Good morning from Colorado. Welcome to our daily alignment. So I'm just going to wait for someone to hop on. <laughs> there you are. Good morning, Sheldon. I hope you slept well. Good morning, Karma. Ooh, hello, goody. I have people to play with today. So today, when I was thinking about what would be a good thing to align with for, oh my gosh, Dan and Jason. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for joining. I think this is going to be fun. So my goal is to keep our video around 12 to 13 minutes. We'll see if I can do that and not talk too much. <laughs> I look like a, a French girl in a beret today, and I was thinking of the line from the, the Titanic where she says, paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. <laughs> so that's me today. I need a big sapphire to wear around my neck, though. So, <clears throat> okay. Oh, hi, Catherine. Oh, my gosh. Look at everybody. Hello. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, I think you'll like this one today. So if you watched yesterday's video, I talked about remembering to tap into your creative flow and align with your creative purpose and passion, you know, what you came here to do and what gifts you came to bring to the world. And, you know, typically we're pretty passionate about those things. So <clears throat> today I felt like it would be a really good idea to flow from yesterday to today to today into let's really notice what we're passionate about, okay? So I was thinking what the visual that came to me was if we tap into our core and we have a look at what's happening in there and we see, you know, where's my fire, you know, because we, we associate fire with passion. So we can use that as a reference point in our field. So let's start, let's start, oh my gosh, Pixie and Scott and AC and Hildy and Ricardo and Nicole, oh my gosh, and Jennifer, I think I already said your name, but good morning, thank you so much. So we're going to get all passionate today. <laughs> Look out, everybody. Okay, so let's, let's hop right into it, okay, and let's start with the three breaths. Okay, first of all, let's ground in. Okay, so long, deep breath. And whatever you do to ground, I think all of you know how to do that. If you don't, just imagine rooting yourself down into the core of the earth with whatever feels good to you, tree roots. Sometimes it's a big, thick rope. For me, it's a big, heavy chain with links like this because I like to float away and fly my spaceship from time to time. So just drop that down, wrap it around the core of the earth. Feel yourself getting a little bit more dense and embodied. Let's really get present for this. Okay. So, and I don't plan this stuff ahead, just so you know. That's why I'm like totally off the cuff with this stuff. It's how I work in my practice. Okay. So, okay. So we're going to check in and make sure that we're, we're fully present here and embodied. So ask the question, where am I in relation to my body? Okay. Energetically, you know, am I all scattered out? Okay, ask the question, you're talking to your field, where am I in relation to my body? Check around, okay? Personally, I'm kind of swirling around here, all around, so I'm gonna breathe myself back in, okay? And if you notice that you're not integrated, breathe yourself back in, imagine breathing in as centering the, the, the essence of what you are in the core of your physical body. So let's realign. So I'm, this is interesting. <laughs> Woo, that went in my heart. Okay, so as I breathe that in, it really went boom in my heart and psh, <laughs> so that felt nice. Okay, hopefully you felt that for yourselves. Okay, so now that everybody's grounded in, fully embodied, fully present, very yummy. <laughs> You're all so yummy. Three long deep breaths, okay? So five count in. Five count out. We're going to drop our awareness into the field of the heart. 
And this is the place where we have a, the, the communication with zero point source without the interference of the polarized perception of the mind. So we drop into the field of the heart. We're having a more pure conversation with the unified field. As well as our own field. Okay, so that should be complete now. Good morning, Rick. Hello, everyone else that joined. Thank you. Okay, hi, Eric and Dan and Laura. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Thank you for sharing your morning with me. It feels really nice. I gotta say, before we take the next step in our in our practice here, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who do join, you know, whether you join live or whether you join later. I feel you. And it, it's been such a really beautiful way for me to start my day is because I feel really connected and that makes me happy, you know? I just, I really, I really love my people. So thank you. It makes my days a lot better. You know, practice or no practice, it doesn't really matter. I think the main thing that I'm aligning with is, is connecting with all of you every day. And it, it's something that really nourishes my heart and soul. And, and that's one of the things that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about connection and communication and sharing and, you know, uh, not just living our stories, but sharing them with one another and, and connecting in the depths. You know, I've never been one to be even comfortable with surface level interaction. And, and when we can dive to the depths together and really meet one another there and learn about each other and, and understand the intricacies of what makes us tick. And uh, it's, it's just, it's yummy. That's what I came here for, you know? So, and then all the other things kind of tie into that. So, you know, there, there may even be some of you that don't, really know or remember what you're passionate about anymore you know and i mean i got to that place you know it's funny i noticed i say you know a lot of my videos now you're all going to notice it i'm trying not to do it <laughs> you know <laughs> so if you can't think right now uh, or feel right now what you're passionate about that's that can be a problem okay because the, the things that light our fire and that we're passionate about are the things that help us feel alive. It's a driving force for living, you know? And if, if you can't think of or feel into what you're truly passionate about right now, let's go back to childhood, okay? If you have that idea now and you know, okay, cool, but still let's go back to childhood. And let's remember what that felt like when we were children, those things that we were wildly passionate about. We were so excited about them. And we knew we had these huge dreams that, that when we're children, these huge dreams that we have seem completely reasonable. Of course, I want to do this. You know, of course, I want to be a prima ballerina and be on stage all over the world in front of, you know, millions of people, of course. You know, but then as we grow older, we, we're conditioned and programmed out of those uh, non-limited thoughts. And we're told, well, here are all the things that you need to worry about because, you know, in the real world, we have limitations. Well, again, I can't swear in my morning videos, but I'll call BS on that. We limit ourselves. So remember that little inner child really breathe into that i've been doing a lot of remembering lately so i know exactly what's there so remember the things that you you know fantasized about and imagined that you would do when you grew up and yeah, you're so excited about growing up because when you get to be a grown-up you get to do these things right okay now go into your teen years and breathe into your teen years and go into that you know all the information stored in your field find what were you passionate about then or were you not passionate about anything anymore did you lose it somewhere in there now let's slide really slowly from there to here 
you can feel what's happened with you. If you've ignited your passion, you're going to feel kind of good as you slide into now. But if you've forgotten what your passions are and you're not living in alignment with them, it's not going to feel so good sliding into now. Okay, so really breathe into where you're at right now. And I want you to reach out and grab all those hopes and dreams. You can do this in your mind's eye. Grab all those hopes and dreams and, and grab that little child by the hand and pull him or her close and stand with that little one, okay? And look yourself in the eye. I want you to remember. And breathe into that. Notice, look at that little one. Notice that fire. Oh, it's burning so bright inside that little one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that smile. Look at the joy that's, that's sparkling out off of your inner child, that excitement and curiosity and wonder. And oh my gosh, I get to be alive and I get to do the things that I came here to do. Okay, now look at that fire again. How bright is it? Woo! Okay, if it's not very bright, low on it. Give it some oxygen. Fan it, I guess, would be better. Okay, fan the flames. Okay, we did this. We did this another time with the heart to heart. Let's do fire to fire right here in the solar plexus, okay? So let's imagine this little one standing in front of you. That's you with all your hopes and dreams and passions and creative force and wildness and wonder intact and, and, and a flame. And, and wrap your arms around that little one and ask, are you ready? Are you really ready? And the little one's gonna look at you and say, yeah, of course, are you ready is the question. <laughs> so are you ready? Okay, and take a long deep breath and, and meld, mesh that little one, integrate that little one in and align that fire that you see in the core of that little one. Breathe right there. And that is the fire in your belly. Breathe into it. Imagine each breath like one of those big, I can't remember what they're called, sound effects and, and hand movements always work, you know, to make the fire go brighter, okay? Imagine that out here, okay? And imagine that fire inside you burning so bright, you have to step back almost from it. And really breathe into that. And I want you to now Go up into your mind from the core of your heart. You're going to see your thoughts from here, okay? The mind is interpreting what's happening in your soul. And ask yourself, what did I come here to do? What did I come here to feel passionate about? What are the dreams that I've forgotten? And how can I step toward that right now, today, one step. If I'm not already doing it, if I'm already doing it, what's the next step that I can take to really align with that which my soul, my spirit is passionate about? What did I came here, what did I come here? And in other lifetimes too. <laughs> what did I come here to do, to offer in this world? What are my gifts that not only light my fire, that will inspire that, that fire inside of others? And it doesn't have to be big. It can be the tiniest little thing, like smiling at strangers. I've said this before, you know, even, it doesn't even have to involve people. Even communicating with 
our animal friends. Enjoying the sunlight, being sovereign and just joyful and blissed out in that. Anything, it doesn't matter what it is, there's no rules. You were told that there are so many rules and limitations. You can't do that. No, that's not how it works here. Let go of all that. I reject that programming. So today, I am aligning with the things that I came here to do that felt important to me from the time that I was a tiny little girl. And I'm sure well before I ever came into this body, and I'm passionate about whatever it is that I'm meant to bring into this world through me because I care. I really care. And I want to feel alive. You know, and when and when we are living in alignment with that which we are passionate about from the core of our very being, we feel we can't help but feel ignited and alive and vibrant and mm, like the creator itself playing in the playground that it made. So here in Colorado, it's snowy out. And when I finish with you here, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to be very childlike with my sparkle paws, go to soft back. And we are going to play in the snow. <laughs> so I would invite any of you who are in a snowy location to put on your snow stuff and get outside and play in that snow. Right? If you can get outside, go play, be in nature. And, and when we're in nature, we are closer to that, which we call God or creator. And that's a place where sometimes if we have forgotten, we can remember there. Ask the questions, open up that dialogue. Okay, and go play today. Remember what you're passionate about. Remember your dreams. And remove all of those limiting beliefs because they're not real. Be epic. You deserve that and the world deserves that from you. Okay, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for joining. Christopher, Becky, Sarah, Daniel, Douglas, all of you, I'm probably missing some because I can't see you. Pixie, hopefully I said that. Oh, and before I go, okay. I used your uh, rose spray and your purity spray today, Pixie, before I started my my session. So let's, let's, I'll leave you all with this, okay? Pixie's on there, you can find her. Pixie's Potions and Pearls. Okay. This is her rose sacred elements line. Woo, I'll send that to you, I'm gonna send it again. <laughs> all right. I love you all so much. Have a beautiful day. Go play, okay? Be passionate. Be fiery. Valentine's is coming. <laughs> Bye.